good sides together. And we want to line up our salvage edges. And we want to make sure that our fold is good. Now, this is a really long piece of material, so I'm going to start at one end. Try to get This lines up probably okay to keep going. The reason we need to line up our salvage edges and why we're so particular about that. Now, there is a grain to the material and then there's a cross grain. If we pull it like this, it doesn't stretch. If we try to pull the material this way, it has a bit of stretch. If we go in a diagonal, it stretches a lot. Now, that's fine as long as we're careful. When we're laying a pattern out, we need to make sure that we're going along the grain. The only way we can say we are on the grain, grain line of the material is if we've lined up our salvage edges and we can measure this way. We have two pattern pieces. This is extra small back, extra small front. You need both pieces. It doesn't matter which one we do first. I'll set that one aside until I get this one on. Now, the other thing I want you to notice, the material does not have an up and a down. So it doesn't have a nap. It doesn't matter if your pattern piece sits like this or if it sits like this because there isn't a direction. So we're going to start with this one. And this is the grain line that I talked about. So we're going to make sure that the pattern doesn't cross because we need to cut two. So I'm going to get as close to the edge as possible. From here to here is 15 centimeters. So now I have to go down to the other side of the grain line and make sure it's the same. This is 15 this down here also needs to be 15. It isn't, so I'm going to hold up here and I'm gonna push the pattern up and rock it a little bit till it gets to 15. I'm going to put a pattern up. I'm going to put a weight here. I'm going to remeasure here to make sure it's still at 15. It is. Now, I'm going to trace this pattern. I'm just going to use a plain ballpoint pen. You go all the way around. Please remember, please understand, that you have to do include these
darts to make sure that you've included both. Once you've traced all the way around, you can remove the weights, remove the pattern, and you can see the outline of the pattern all the way around. Before you do anything else, you need to pin inside, just like you did for your other projects that you've done so far. When you cut, you're going to cut that out and you're going to cut this double triangle out as well. Once you've pinned, you're going to fold and pull the rest of your material over so that you can then lay out the other half of your pajama pants. So now, because I don't want to waste a lot of material, I'm going to watch this line that I've got here, and I'm going to bring this as close as I can without going past the, uh, the fold, making sure I have room to cut out. I'm going to put one weight here. This time, I'm going to measure the grain line from here, because this is the grain line on this pattern piece. So from here to the salvage edge. And now you're going to start cutting. So I'm going to pull the material over a bit, pull it out so that I'm at the edge, and I'm just going to cut carefully along the lines and cut up both pattern pieces. Making sure that I include these Double, this double triangle and this single triangle. 